just begin to tune into either your breathing or your contact your body is making with the ground, the chair, the floor, whatever is beneath you. Whatever the, it means to deepen that, go ahead and deepen it. That could mean really kind of just trying to hold your attention even more closely to that contact you're making or really visualizing the earth beneath you and gravity holding you. Or it could mean taking nice deep breaths into your belly. Notice what, if anything, shifts as you deepen. And I'll invite you to call to mind a moment when you felt proud of yourself. Could be big or small. Right? It could be you graduated from a six year program, or it could be you made it to work on time. Doesn't really matter. Just a moment that you can connect to right now where you recognize I'm proud of myself for that. Could be recent or in the distant past. And if this is feeling complicated, notice that if there are parts of you that are kind of thinking, mm, I don't know if I should be proud of that. See if you can ask that part to just gently go sit in the other room while we do this. Really welcoming the experience of letting ourselves feel proud of something. Any doubts, just step back. So thinking of this moment, see if you can almost capture like a movie still, a moment, an image of the experience that really captures why you feel proud about this. Could surprise you what moment comes to mind. So if we're thinking about graduating, could be the moment you walk across the stage could be later when someone you love smiles at you and tells you they're proud of you. Whatever experience you're connecting to, see if you can really scan through to find the moment that allows you to connect to feeling proud. Notice what you feel in your body. All 
all of our emotions are felt physically. Pride is often kind of a swelling, positive, swelling, energized feeling in the chest. But it might be something different for you. Notice what happens. Just see if you can stay with it. If any parts of you are uncomfortable or judgmental about feeling pride, just ask them to step aside. You're allowed to feel this right now. As you savor this feeling, notice if it almost invites you to make any adjustments to your body in order to embody that feeling, which may or may not be the case. As much as you're able to connect to this feeling, just imagine that you're soaking it into every cell in your body. Let it just kind of gently release. I'm going to invite you to now think about something, a moment where you felt some degree of embarrassment or shame. We're thinking a scale of zero to 10, 10 being ashamed or embarrassed as you can imagine. Try to keep it, you know, three or four, something on the lower end of the scale. Nothing too overwhelming. Maybe you said something you wish you hadn't, or someone saw you do something you wish they didn't, or you fell into an old pattern you're trying to break, whatever it might be. And just kind of find an image. If you were watching a movie, pressing pause, a movie still captures that feeling. Notice how that feels in your body. Is there any part of your body, any location? seems to be the center of it. If so, if you'd like, place a hand there. Just imagine, similar to how you might put a gentle hand on the shoulder of someone that you care about, you're communicating compassion for yourself. As you're connecting to this embarrassment or shame. And then go ahead and release that. And bring back the original image of pride. The image that helped you to connect to the feeling of pride. Notice any shifts that come with that. 
happy, if you can allow yourself to really step into that feeling of pride again. How it feels different. Ahead and release that. Bring to mind something about yourself that maybe isn't what others want from you. For example, perhaps you're outspoken and other people don't always like that. Or you're assertive and others don't always like that. Or you're gentle and others don't always like that. something about your identity, maybe you're queer, or you otherwise somehow have something about you that doesn't fit society's rigid expectations or norms. It could be a characteristic or an aspect of your identity. See if you can allow yourself to feel pride for this. You can say out loud or in your mind a statement like, I am proud of myself. Out of who I am. Out of what I am. Notice how that feels in your body. Any parts of you are popping up to complicate things or tell you it's not okay, just ask them to step back. Just allow yourself as much as possible Feel proud of who and what you are. And it could be this, or it could be something from earlier. But allow yourself to connect to whatever has helped you to feel best about yourself in this exercise. And 
whether that's an accomplishment or a trait, piece of your identity. Just notice the feeling of pride in your body. Note that this is a place you can come back to. This is a resource that you have. From this place, you can begin to bring a little movement into your extremities, your fingers and your toes. Can rock your body a little bit, or roll your neck. Flutter open your eyes if they're closed and come back to the room. 